Hi everyone, welcome to Imaging Study. Today we are going to see a case of ovarian hemorrhagic cyst. A 19-year-old unmarried female patient came with left lower abdominal pain. Let's see what we have got on ultrasound. Here you can see the longitudinal and transverse section of the uterus. The measurements are within normal limit. You can see a glimpse of the ovaries. This one looks quite enlarged. Here is the picture of the ovaries. You can see the right ovary is normal, but the left one looks enlarged. Let's see on real time. Here on real time, you can see the left ovary is enlarged, but there is a cystic lesion within the ovary. This cystic lesion shows internal septations. Due to the unmarried state, we couldn't do the transvaginal scan. So we need to confirm it with transabdominal ultrasound. The best way to understand the ovarian pathology is to magnify the image during the transabdominal ultrasound scan. So let's magnify the image. Here on magnified image, you can see the internal septations are quite well visualized. These are thin septations. This type of less like pattern or reticular pattern within a cystic lesion goes in favor of hemorrhagic cyst. As this is a small lesion of less than 5 cm maximum diameter, it should be an Urads 2 lesion. Here is a picture. You can see the cystic lesion within the ovary, making it enlarged. Here is a two dimensional measurement of the left ovary. On color Doppler, there is no vascularity within these septations. This is important to exclude other lesions like malignancy. The surrounding normal ovarian parenchymal vasculature may be seen. So, in summary, a well defined thin walled cystic area of less than 5 cm in maximum diameter, having internal less like reticular pattern with posterior acoustic enhancement, is noted within the enlarged left ovary. Color Doppler shows the absence of flow within the internal reticular pattern. The normal flow is seen in surrounding ovarian tissue. So this feature is concluded as a case of left ovarian hemorrhagic cyst that has given Urads ultrasound score of 2 with a color score of 1, indicating almost certainly benign condition. We have made a follow-up of this patient after 6 weeks and there was no lesion found within the left ovary and it became normal in size. Now the take-home message. Using URADS or IOTA descriptors and classification system may help clinicians understand the lesion characteristics and manage the patient accordingly. So we recommend you to follow the URADS classification available free in the internet. Thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel and visit imagingstudy.com for more cases. If you are from Bangladesh, we are arranging different webinars in local language to help our rural doctors. Try to visit our website to get detail about those webinars. See you on the next one. Have a nice day.